All right, I hope this video finds everybody well. This is gonna be a little bit of a homesteading survival skill, if you will. Uh, essentially, this is a giant pine log and uh, we cut down a bunch of trees on a uh, property that it, it wasn't feasible to bring a farm tractor out to. It's just, long story, doesn't matter. Anyway, had all these uh, saw logs essentially. This was so far my first time having lumber milled, uh, which was actually a pretty cool experience. We had all these saw logs. This was by far the largest one. And then as you can see in the background, there, there were a bunch of odds and ends we just cut up for firewood. And uh, so the issue is I got to get this thing on the trailer somehow, right? And there's no tractor, there's no forklift that's available for you. So how are we actually going to manage this? Well, I uh, talked to the uh, the old timer who runs the sawmill close to where these pictures were taken. And, uh, and I, I just said something about, yeah, I got this giant log. I don't know how I'm going to bring it here. And he's like, well, you could do this old school thing called parbuncling, which used to be very common back in the day, back when men were men. And, uh, you know, people were building and doing stuff a lot more than they are now. And he explained this concept. I was like, wow, that's really brilliant. Yeah, thank you very much. So I come back and, uh, I, and I give it a whirl. As you can see, I've got a chain fall there. That is not your, you know, your DIY homeowner special chain fall. That's like a three ton, I think, industrial Milwaukee brand one. Um, you can get mystery meat clones of those that are supposed to be pretty good. If I remember, I'll put a link in, in, to, in the description to those on Amazon. But regardless, this is the one I have, so that's the one I use. It worked awesome. And you can see I ran a chain to the side of this trailer. Now, this is something you need to do at your own risk, obviously, because if something comes loose with a log like that on it, I mean, it, yeah, that there's a real possibility for injury there. But thankfully, this specific trailer has a bunch of D-rings welded to the deck in an extremely solid way. So I had lots of places to tie this off to, and it's a, you know, steel deck, heavy trailer. Okay, so essentially I ran the chain under the log and then looped it back up to the chain fall like that, and I positioned a couple of trailer ramps. Uh, I just positioned the trailer ramps and started cranking, and you know what? It honestly worked very well. I'm quite happy about that. Now, a few caveats. The sawmill guy said this log was probably over a thousand pounds. And like I said, that's a three ton chain fall. Okay. I would not want to do this with any less of a chain fall because I was huffing and puffing and cranking on that thing. And uh, yeah, it was definitely a little bit of a workout, but sure enough, you know, the thing went right up the ramps. I was actually amazed at how easily it, it worked. Um, it just, it was very smooth, you know. Um, you know, the chain fall has this insane amount of gear reduction. So it was very smooth. It was very low effort considering the weight of that thing. And I, I got the log from in the grass there. You can see it kind of killed the grass. It was laying there for a little while. I got it from there onto the trailer like inside of 10 minutes once I had all this stuff gathered up. So yeah, definitely glad that I knew uh, to do this and now you guys do too. Probably not the most exciting video, but yeah, I made it almost 30 years of my life without realizing that this old school technology was a thing. But you know, we think about it, we're pretty dependent upon tractors with hydraulics, you know, at least in a farming sense to lift and move stuff. That's a relatively new invention and you know, our ancestors were building all kinds of cool stuff thousands of years prior to that. And this technology is just one of the ways that, that it could be done. So yeah, um, now you know that's your medieval style tech tip of the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Friendly reminder, we've got a uh, pretty vibrant community of homesteaders, farmers, tradesmen, and the like on Telegram. It's almost completely unmoderated. So friendly invitation to check that out if you've not already. Um, I'm a lot more active on there than I am, you know, here on YouTube. So anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more.